Good morning, happy Friday everybody. I've jumped on a little bit early because um, I, I've got to go to girls sponsored walk in a little bit um, and I didn't want to be late. Um, so I thought I'd jump on a little bit early and get my live done now um, because I wanted to get it done today because today there is a new catalogue out and a celebration that starts today as well. So the celebration is the promotion that Stamping Up run that you can earn free product when you spend um, in denominations of £45 across any of the, the catalogue catalogues. Um, so it's definitely one of um, everyone's favourite time of year because um, who doesn't love free stuff? Like who just who doesn't? Um, so and the card I've made today is using um, stuff from Celebration only. Um, so yeah, so I want to show you um, that one. Um, so I'm gonna switch the camera around um, and just show you quickly. Um, the products that I've used out of the Celebration um, catalogue, so bear with me one second while I switch you around. Here we are. Move it up a little bit. So, here is the new catalogue, full of Christmas. <clears throat> Excited. And then here is the celebration um one so the card i made is this one so i've used the hippos and also this paper here is part of the celebration um so this is it here so we've got this fab hippist hippos um they're really cute and the dies as well, which I've got both. Um, I love all these little accessories that come with that. I haven't had much chance to play with it yet. Um, but there's definitely some in there. And then the other thing I use is this silver and gold 6x6 DSP. Um, so it's just here. So you can see I've used a bit. So it comes in stripes and spots in both the silver um, and the gold. I think that's really, really cute. Oh, it's not cute when you stick it to the, put go. Oh, phew. Um, yeah, so I love that one. I think this one's the next one on my list that I'm gonna get. I love those. Big sentiments, um, so there's some Christmassy bits in there. And most of the bits tend to tie in with stuff um, that is in the other catalogues as well. Um, so that's good. Great. So, yes. So we've got the hippest hippos. Um, I have already stamped them and started colouring them out. Because as you know, I seem to only colour stuff in grey. Um, just falling out at me. Um, which is annoying. But although that's probably hence why it's my colour that's run out. The quickest. Um, so I'm going to just finish colouring that one now. It's standing upside down all night. Um, and then I'll die cut them out. And then we'll make this one. I might do it in a different colour. Um, well, I've added this one. Um, and a different one of the gold or silver papers. But yes, this is my card. Um, I'm not quite sure what style of card this is called. Um, if anyone knows, answers on a postcard are accepted. Um, so let's just hope I've managed to get enough just to colour the rest of this hippo in. There we go. And then add a bit of shading in on the others. They are really cute. It's got these little fingernails. So for his belly and his <laughs> finger and toenails, that's probably not right. 
I'm using the light petal pink and then for his nose bit I've used crumb cake I did it in grey and I didn't massively like it um, so that's why I've gone I did do one actually in pink didn't I this one's pink um, so either works quite nicely Maybe it's because my grey pen's on the way out. Maybe that's why I didn't um, like it. Maybe that's better. Um, do you know what? I'm not going to do this and the flower until I've picked which colour card I'm going to do. Because then that will determine which colour I do the tutu and the flowers. But let's cut those out. Um... Well, right here. Um, and then we can start to put it together. So this is the die set. So there's loads in here. So we just need the three outline ones for the moment. I don't know if I'll be able to cut all of these at the same time. So I always save my little bits of washi tape when I do my die cutting, generally so that they're not as sticky because sometimes you can do it and oh, I didn't put that in properly and um, it will take some of the like, it will pull some of the card off and stuff so that's what you don't want to do. So the less sticky it is, the, the better it is. I mean it's still going to be sticky but holding a die in place. This is why you need two, obviously, because it moves. Um, and I just have to do one at a time. It's fine. This is the only die cutting I've got today. Yeah, so girls had a school trip last week. Last. Friday um, and then I've got sponsored walk today so it's busy um, and then they finish in like oh, I don't know two two and a bit weeks oh my goodness and then we've got six <laughs> six weeks Oh my goodness. Anyone else slightly concerned how they're gonna fill six weeks? I think because this is my first like summer holiday, I just feel like it's gonna be a long long time, but I'm sure it I'm sure it will go really quickly. Um I've made a list of all the things we can do. Three weeks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You too, Holo. Just um, yeah. Just don't. I mean, luckily for me, I haven't got to fit in work as as well. Um, which actually, I don't know if that makes it easier or hard because then they know I'm here all the time. Oh dear. And um, we've got a few nice things planned. I got my calendar out yesterday and I booked a few things in already. But there's still, <laughs> there's still more days to um, fill in. So there we go. We've got our first cut out little hippos. They are really cute. Um, they are obviously. So let's do 
maybe let's do stripes this time. And let's do silver. Let's see how the silver stripes works with against the grey of the hippos. So there, this is a bit in between like a paper and a card. It's not, um, I feel it's slightly thinner than the normal DSP, but that could just be because it's not double sided. So it, just, it doesn't fill as thick, but it's still a nice um, sort of layering um, pa paper. Does it say on there what it is? Oh, it does say paper. It doesn't say what um, GSM it is. Um, yeah. I do like it though. So, what are we thinking for this? Mm. <laughs> Shall we go? Yeah, let's go bright pink. Um, I've got a bit here. I can't quite remember what I did the little strips at. I have to get my ruler out and double check. Oh, do you know what? It's not a normal card base, is it? I'm such a wally. It's fine. It doesn't matter. It will get used. Because I've got to cut it. Um, score it, I mean, at a different place. So, leave it as that. <laughs> Don't touch it. So I scored this one at this five is it and anyway I'll see that one. It's good. I don't know if it's my own fault. It was so bright in here earlier. I have to shut the um, blinds, but no, it's not. So it's five, two. Is it just five, two each end? Yeah. I'll keep the ruler out a minute for that. So five, two. Is this one? And hopefully, roughly meet in the middle. And then let's just double check what these were. I think this was a bit of lucky measuring. So they're four by nine and a half, those ones. So let's do nine and a half, and we should be able to get. <laughs> Three of these out. Do not cut straight. Do I not cut one straight? Oh, and no, I did. Fix my eyes that are gone wonky. <laughs> Um, so that's how strips that they're going to be going onto. I'm just going to cut some white out. I'll put some little bits here. So they are going to be this way. They were four, weren't they? So they need to be three and a half. Oh, it should be fine. Yeah, so that we can just mat and lay those onto there. So the last few celebrations, they've had some. I can't remember what stamps they had. Like the donkeys, didn't they? I was not a donkey fan. 
can't think what the other one was. Other, oh, the otters we had, didn't we? For the January, February. I like those. I've got the otters. Um, they are cute. So this one, I've used three of the sentiment stamps. So are oh, you the really best? Always on point and love you a ton. Um, so I'm going to get those ones out. Oh, love you a ton. And then I think I did use black. I'm fairly sure I did. Just to confirm, my desk was tidy. Um, so always on point. It's going to go up one end. So I haven't um, put them all on the same um, side of card as well. I have alternated them. So that I can alternate the hippos as well. I don't really want them all standing in a line. Okay. These are a nice font actually. These stamps. These are really clear. I love you a ton. This side. There you go. remember my rule because I make mistakes far too often stamp it then stick it um down because if you make a mistake you can always just turn the bit of card over um, and do it on the other side so not much glue needed so we stick that on there I'm gonna stick the hippos down at the end um, and they are then on dimensionals once it's stuck down on the card base. So okay, one and last one. There we go. Post to one side and then oh I'm just gonna cut this bit out. So they were five two, weren't they? So this needs to be Let's go this way. So think about which direction um, you want your stripes to be in. It doesn't matter so much with the um, dot ones, um, but the striped ones. Just so I think you'll see more of the stripes if I cut it that way. The edge off. Silly me. Fine. So that was 15. So this is this much. Oh, good job I didn't put much glue on that end, wasn't it? You can tell I've done that once or twice before. My trimming needs a bit of a clean. Let's get the white spirit out and clean some of that glue off. I'm going to place the blade on my trimmer. Go. And then we're going to sit these down. So we're going to sit these alternate ways down. So we only want to stick, put glue on one side. Make sure it is in the middle. So we're going to do top and bottom first. Oh, 
like that. This one I'm going to do on that alternate side. So that we can make sure that they are evenly spaced. If you do them top to bottom, you could end up that you have a too big a gap at one end. Whereas if you do the um, top and bottom one first, um, it doesn't matter, it will hide it. So we've gone, done that. I'm just going to now, now I know what colour we've done, I'm going to colour this in. So I'm going to colour her little tutu in Melon Mambo. So I'm just going like to. So this is light Melon Mambo. Oh, I forgot to do a little. The pens are flying everywhere. It's because I now leave my um, smoky slate and my um, crumb cake pens permanently standing up in order that hopefully um, I'll get some enough ink out of them. Do some colouring, but it's July now, which means I can do my next order here we go have I missed any other bits for that? I don't think so I'm just going to put a little bit of detail on here on the tutu around here a little bit of shading on that one okay, so I don't need those and then we can stick those on so these are stuck on with Dimensionals. Mm. Yeah. yeah, just one. Each of those. So this one, always on point, I put in the middle because that's the sort of sentiment that goes with that one. Just a tad. Flower one up here, and then this one at the bottom. So be careful that they don't catch on those other flaps um, here. I love the. Oh, thank you. It is. I've seen people do this sort of thing before, but I still have really no idea what this one's called and um, perhaps we just need to come up with a bit of a funky name um, for it so just look a bit for inside and stamp that so that's going to be 14.9 by it's about 10 just because you won't be able to really write any um message on the pink so Shall we stamp? Should we stamp one of them inside? Let's do the little one with the flower. really cute and then we'll do the one stamp that we haven't used that you're so hip and we're going to pop that next to this little one at the bottom just because I feel it fits really nicely in that little um, space up there okay ready Let's see if we can feed colour to get as much out of this. You might not see the end of this one being coloured. I'd like to be able to tell you by next Friday, it's 
cool. Um, that I've ordered them. Well, I might even bit depends if I do or not do model. I might do it the weekend. We'll see. What else we've got on? We're not quite going to make this. Right, I don't want to push it. We'll do the other bits. And then I'll come back to that one. I'd love to see if anyone's um, done these in light blue. Because some hippos do have a little bit of a... Um, like a blue tinge to them. I'm sure... Get a bit of a Pinterest search earlier later and see if um, anyone's done that. I might give that a bit of a glow. Might look quite nice mixed with the um, the grey actually. Check that. I'm still with a memory. So I'm just going to do the flower the same colour as on the outside, just so it ties in with the front. But I haven't got much more to do. I'm sure I can <laughs> get that done. Okay. Pop that on the inside. Okay. There we go. That is our card done. So let me just get the one I did earlier. Um yeah. So these are my two that I've done. So my original. So this one was um, petal pink. And this one is done in melon mambo. And then you can just see the stripe. Oh, it's best to see on that one. So this is the gold and silver DSP. And um, it's in the celebration, the silver stripes. And then this one is the, the gold dots. So it's a really nice um, shine to those ones. And I use the hippest of hippos. Um, I... For about two weeks, I kept calling it the happiest of hippos, but it's not hippiest of hippos um, for those ones. And I've coloured those in as well. I didn't do one on the inside. I tried it in that one. Um, so, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed my live this morning. Thank you very much for joining me. Any questions on any of the celebration items, do let me know. Um, I will pop a little post up. Uh, when I'm going to put my order in so if anybody wants to add anything onto that so that you get free postage um, you can just let me know and I'll be doing that hopefully by next Friday um, so yeah thanks for joining me have a lovely weekend I'm off to do a bit of sponsored walking although no one sponsored me so I'm a bit upset um, even though I've got to do it as well I think um, so it's fine <laughs> um, so Great to see you all. I'll see you soon. Bye.